<laughs> Look at Smokey the superhero. He joins us, JJ. Tonight, all across the valley, kids, parents, and even the pets will be dressing up and hitting the streets to trick or treat. But for our furry friends, Halloween can be an especially spooky time. It actually can. And here with some Halloween safety tips for our furry friends is Dr. Ken Saransky from the Animal Foundation. He's the director of veterinary services there, and he's brought Smokey, the Aww. rescue dog, who's an alumni of the Animal Foundation, with him. Welcome, Dr. Ken. Good to have you. Nice to be here. Yeah. Uh, so Smokey's all full of energy. Yes. He um, is. <laughs> and what's his story? Um, Smokey was actually adopted uh, from the Animal Foundation, so he's already uh, found his he's forever found home. His home. Yeah. I, I tell you, and he, he <laughs> okay, smells so. good, so someone gave him a bath, and I'm just so glad that he has a great home. He's such an adorable he's dog. He's fixated and on somebody I right now. I really need to hug on him. So when you get to dogs like Smokey, when you get to Halloween, what would you say is the most important step to kind of keep your pets safe? Uh, so the most important thing you can do to keep your pet safe this Halloween is to uh, make sure you know where that treat bag is and make sure that they're not getting into that. So a lot of the, a lot of our uh, candies that all the kids are eating um, can be uh, toxic and even fatal to pets, uh, including Especially chocolate. chocolate. Right? Yeah. Yep, chocolate and uh, xylitol, which is a sugar substitute. Oh, the substitute. Mm -hmm, found mm. in some sugar-free candies. Mm. All right, and you you know you hear it happen every year, but but really you know take that bag, tie it up, and put it up off the floor. Floor, right is the key. Absolutely. You don't want your pets anywhere near that. Yeah. What about for uh, folks that are taking their dogs out trick-or-treating with them? Um, a lot of us put our dogs in costumes today. Yeah, so it can be really overwhelming, um, Halloween can, for our pets. Um, so unless your pet is, um, you know, very comfortable and, and relaxed, it might be best for them just to stay uh, at home. Stay indoors. Yeah, to stay indoors, uh, indoors and kind of away from the front door where all the trick-or-treaters are going to come up. Uh, you want to find a really calm place for them to be. Okay. And then, of course, with the dogs out roaming around, they may see some unusual items in the house or outside the house, decorations, corn displays. Are these safe for pets? Oh, yeah. My dogs bark at the neighbor's pumpkins <laughs> in their yard because they, they see them, they identify them as scary. It's Funny. Yeah, so they're um, kind of those uh, common Halloween displays that you mentioned, the pumpkins and corn cobs. They're not necessarily toxic to pets, um, but if they eat enough of them, it can actually cause an Heart intestinal obstruct obstruction. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have some things on display on the table here, and uh, these have some Hi. electrical wires up to buddy. them, and we've got Hi, some plastic, plastic pumpkins. And uh, do you are you, you know, cautioning people against things like this? Yeah, you just want to make sure that they're not um, kind of around the wires or if you have a jack-o'-lantern that has a candle in it, um, pets can easily tip that over and, um, you know, can run into harm's way. Yep. Now he's in a costume. Are there anything about uh, folks need to be aware of when it comes to costumes and pets? Yeah, not every pet wants to be in a costume. It can be something oh, sure. that's really stressful for them. Uh, you want to make sure, just like Smokey's costume is um, is kind of loose around there. It's not obstructing his movement or his breathing, and you can tell that he's uh, you know perfectly comfortable in that <laughs> costume. <laughs> you know what? This is an awesome example of a dog who was in a shelter and now has a good home because he's full of energy. Full and he's of energy. Super healthy. So real we fast love before it. Before we run out of time, I know there's a contest going on tonight at Downtown Summerlin. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. In downtown Summerlin, um, from 5.30 to 6.30, we have uh, the Animal Foundation is putting on a costume contest for dogs. Very cool. Now, you're going to be one of the judges? I will be. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> this is super fun. Can people still sign up or come down? Um, so, yeah, they can uh, come down uh, this evening um, to, the, to the contest. Oh, gosh. You know what? They have a lot of people signed up already. It sounds like a really good time. Yeah. So if you have a cute pup and you need to show them off, go down to downtown Summerlin this afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your pets protected this Halloween with these safety tips we shared. And don't forget, every day is the perfect day to change the life of a shelter pet. Visit the Animal Foundation on North Mojave Road and their website and phone number are right there on your screen. You know what? I may have found his spot and now he's quieting down. <laughs> Is that all it took, Smokey? Jeez. 